So here guys, going to all of you. Great to see some of the similar faces again, right? Joltan, Mahesh, and Vijay. Awesome. Right. Okay, so how are you guys doing? Good, well. Good, right? Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I'm quite fine. Okay, guys. So, I guess, hi, Vishal. Hello, Moog. Good evening, good evening, guys. Yeah. Great. Okay, guys, so let's start. Okay. I think we have already talked a lot in the previous sessions. Uh, did you start the project from scratch? Uh, we have not started the project yet. I think I have given you some part of the assignment. Your assignments will be evaluated. The other parts remaining, I can share you the code, but I think that that is the remaining part was you for like for you to achieve it. Is my sound going? I guess no. Is it for you you guys? Okay. Multiple times. Is it for all of you? Fine. Okay. No, no, it's not complete. It's not necessary for you to understand the previous thing. Okay. See, this is a React session. So, of course, you should be familiar with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. That's the thing. If you already know it, quite good. Awesome, guys. So, I think we can get started. Right. Okay. You'll be able to see my screen. So let me put a few things here and there. We'll take it for three, four days. Okay. So day one, I'll give you all the introduction to React. And from day two, day three, we'll try to wind up the project. If we cannot wind up, we may have extra days. Video quality is not good. It may be because like you need to increase it to you know, higher quality, I guess. Right? I guess now you'll be seeing my screen, so I don't think there's a problem. So anyway, let's close my WhatsApp and let's be here. Okay. Okay. Video quality is very poor. You guys need to switch it to higher quality. No, it's not increasing. And now that's bad. Okay. But I think. Let's try to reload or something, you'll get it. Thank you. Guys. No, no, it will be totally okay. It's just basic of JavaScript is needed for this. The rest, anyway, I'll explain it. If I write something, definitely I'll explain it to you. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, so we are. Okay, you're getting 720. I think 720 is fine for you. Okay. And now anyway, I'll be visible in a small picture, so it's okay. Okay, so let's get started here, okay? So now let's have a look. Yep, yep. I'll give you the basics, and of course, as I'll be using things, I'll be explaining you. So we have docs. So let's get started with uh, React Docs. Uh, for my introduction and all that, I think you can have a look at the previous videos. Uh, it's the first day of React series. Those who have not already seen me, of course, we had earlier HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and left several series. Okay. No, car game is incomplete. There was two parts that was left that I gave you guys an assignment. Okay. We'll be going from 10 to 11. Okay, guys, let's start. Okay, so, okay, this is the React official documentation. Okay, hi, Shrisha, you're finally here, awesome. Okay, guys, anyway, many of you, I, I remember you by the, your picture uh, and all that. Okay, anyway, forget all those things, let's get started, okay? Okay, okay we'll deal with that also, Aditya, someday. Okay, anyway. 
So guys, React. In general, React is called, you can see, React is called a JavaScript library. So basically, React is made with the help of JavaScript. So of course, JavaScript is the prerequisite to learn React, OK? So there are a few principles of React. React is like declarative, component-based, and learn once and write anywhere. Of course, we'll understand these terms as we go more in like when we start writing the code, but it had these three features as of now. OK, and there are a number of other things like, uh, Okay, awesome one more. Yeah, yeah, I remember you from there. Okay. Hi guys, hi guys. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get started. Let's have other question answer later. Okay. Okay, of course, they have even they have given you some examples here, but I'll say these examples are a little outdated because class-based component has got a little outdated. We'll follow function-based component throughout. Okay. Okay, guys. So how to get started with it? Since I am seeing this has got outdated. So, but their uh, GitHub repo is quite much, uh, quite updated. So Facebook, you know, uh, this is made by Facebook, right? React is a Facebook right? So GitHub, Facebook, create React. Okay. So in this, why I'm showing you this? Because you need to know where, if I'm using some commands, where I'm bringing those commands from. Okay. So these are the places that commands are there. Okay. I'll explain you these commands, but yeah. This is the place where I'm taking these commands from. Okay. So step number one, before starting React, we need to do some installation. What are those installation? Step number one, you need to install Node. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Am I not quite loud, guys? Oh, sorry for that. Okay. Instead of getting loud, I brought my laptop a little closer. Basically, I'm on the two screens. Okay. In case you don't know that. Okay. So Node.js download. Step number one. So go to Node.js download. Okay. okay, guys. So Node.js download, download the LTS version. Okay. And so because this is lifetime support, download and respect in respect of your operating system, download it. It's a normal install. You don't have to do anything. Just like you normally install an app, just download it and install it. Okay. I think we guys have already installed many apps in our lifetime. Right? It's a similar install. Okay. Choose your operating system bits and all, 64 bit, 32 bit, accordingly you install it. Okay. There are a number of more ways, but I have tell, told you a standard way in which all of you can install it in simple words. Okay. So once you have installed it, okay, make sure I think all of you who were already studying from me from earlier, you would have already installed this. But in case if you have not installed Git, make sure you download it. Quite necessary for this course. Okay. Create an OK counter. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. I was thinking to make a counter with plus one. Okay. But I'll create an OK counter, definitely. <laughs> okay. Anyway, download Git in case if you have already not downloaded it. Okay. Before we start this course. Okay. Sorry. Again, I told two times okay in the last sentences. Anyway, git download is a normal install. You, there is nothing special about it. Git, okay. There is you don't need a video. You just need to download it like you normally install any app. There is nothing special. The screen is not visible properly, and why is that? Is screen not visible, guys? Any issue with my screen share? Function based component. Okay, go to download Git, just Google search it. There's no need for any video or anything, just normally install it and that's done. Okay, no need of video or something. It's a normal app install. Okay, and go with the default values. Of course, it will ask for a lot of things, but go with the defaults. Okay, now for Mac users and Linux users, it's okay. For Windows user, okay. For Mac and uh, Linux user, you will have a default terminal. This is called terminal. For Windows user, you will have a CMD by default. But I'll not suggest you to use CMD. When you install Git, automatically Git bash will be available for you guys to use it. Okay. So once you have installed it, you just can make sure that node has got installed or not. So you need to write node space minus V. So this will give you a version. It may your version may be different from mine, but if it is a number, it's totally okay. Node will silently install two more things. One is called npm. 
space minus v and npx. So what are these? We'll understand that a uh, little later. But yeah, they are basically they basically got installed. Okay, in simple words. So once this has been done, we are very ready to get started. Okay, any issue till this point? Okay, because now we'll enter uh, into installation of React. I hope it's okay. Awesome. So could I be using VS Code? So you have already installed something. Okay. I'll show you how to update it. As of now, you can continue with the same. One second. It basically open on my second PC. One second. Now it's not canceling. VS code. Okay. Great. So now let's suppose uh, for a React project, what I'll do. We have already a folder here. We'll create here React. Inside this React folder, of course, we'll have a lot of folders. Okay, so let's suppose inside this React folder, you want to create a React application. Okay. So you just as you know, you guys have to okay. Uh so on VS Code for doing what are the what setup to install in VS Code for working? I think he, once VS Code is installed, no need of any extra thing. You can directly start working. Okay. Of course, some of the plugins, if you want, you can install it. Like they can help you in suggestions. Okay. Like I have Babel ES6, ES7, and ES7 Plus React. Okay, these are two plugins I have, but I have GitHub Copilot, so technically that's the best thing I can have. So all the other things are like overshadowed. Oh, yeah, theme I'm using is Monokai Pro. Okay, so try these two extensions. Okay. Okay, guys. So there will be a lot of time for us to talk once we get started because React literally takes a lot of time to get installed. Okay, so give me a moment. So you need to go to terminal. Inside the terminal, go to new terminal. Of course, you know already know that. If your devil console is activated, you can close it. Else, you'll just get this. Okay. So now, of course, we need to write. So what is the command basically for installing a React or creating a React application? So provided node install. It is install npx and px. Okay. Space create. We'll understand the meaning of each and everything in a while later. For now, let's install it. npx create dash react app. npx create react app and give it a name, like whatever name you want to give of your React application. Let's suppose I'll give it a name hello. Okay. As of now. Okay. Okay. So now let me give it a capital X. Okay. I'm trying to show you something. So now you've got an error. Name can no longer accept capital letters. So, okay. Uh, so guys, there will be like, what do you say? Whenever you are writing this name, of, I have this name. This is the name of your project. So this name cannot be capital. Not only first letter, it cannot have a capital at any place. This is quite important. Okay. We have a habit of doing capital letters name. So don't try it. Let's always give a small letter. Okay. Sir, is my screen not clear? I think it's not clear for you, Priya. For others, it's okay. Try to increase the resolution. Okay. So now the React application is getting created. And of course, it will take a while. Maybe depending on your operating system, it may take up to five to six minutes. Okay, for, for me, it's currently screen share is there, YouTube live is there. So maybe it can take a little time for, but for my laptop, it takes around 30, 30 to 40 seconds in general. Okay. 
Now you guys, I can answer your remaining questions. Go for questions. Hmm. Because it will take a while. When the code will be shared, once your assignment has been looked through, then I'll show you the code. Okay. By the way, if you were smart enough, you could have got the code from my uh, GitHub. Okay, you guys did not search it, right? All the code is available on my GitHub, but anyway. Okay. Duration of class is 10 to 11. About certificate, you can contact uh, the team for them. Okay. Okay. You like npx create react app hello so npx and npm i'll explain you in a while for now let's use npx create react app is basically helping you to create a, giving you a totally created react application and hello is the name of your project hi Bharat, i'm good i think you'll get the information in the group Attendance and all things, you will get it from the group. Okay. okay. Yes, currently I'll not answer any question which is currently not associated directly with the topic. Otherwise, we'll not be able to complete it. Okay, so these are the a few extensions, just two extensions I told you. So one is Babel, ES6, ES7 by whatever is the name of the author, Dezanoti, whatever it is, and ES7 plus React Redux. Okay, this is called DSNJ. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but by that person. Okay. And if you can have Copilot, you don't need anything else. Okay. Please explain our folder while creating React application. I'll create it. Let, let it be created first. Sir, your GitHub link. Okay. So my GitHub username is ProAbhishek. Now you can find the link on your own. How much time we need to put in to get familiar with React? See, if your JavaScript basics and ES6 features is clear, I guess around 30 to 40 hours you need to give to completely through all the topics in React. Then you need to spend some time doing several projects in React. Then I'll say you like your basics level is totally clear and the number of more projects you make that will take you to the intermediate level. Of course, React hooks is by default. It will be taught. Uh, React, like we totally use JavaScript only, but React is just a name. Technically, we are using JavaScript. Uh, uh, last day to submit the assignment for the car. I also don't know. I <laughs> let you know that this year. Okay. I guess we are done. Awesome. So we are done. So our project is made for us. Name is hello. Okay. Now let's come back here. So project is made for us, okay? And which is hello here. Hello, which have a lot and lot of files. And if I open this node modules folder, you guys will be lost. Oh my God, what is happening here? So many files. When did I create them? So basically none of them you created. So React did uh, everything for you, okay? In something public file, source file, and there are a lot of other things. So we'll try to understand these things, okay? My GitHub username is P R O Pro Abhishek and Abhishek name. I think you can see it on the screen. The Abhishek word. Okay. So what I'll do? I'll just open. I don't want to open the React now. I'll just open the Hello Project. So where it is teaching? We have just made a Hello Project. No, in Flux React Hello Project. Hey guys, please open. Yep. So we have here. Mm -hmm. It's opening. 
So finally, this hello is here. So what will we do? We'll try to make hello world in two ways, the easy way and the hard way. In the easy way, of course, like you will just make a hello world, but you will not understand anything. And in a hard way, of course, like uh, what do you say? You will understand each and everything about each and every form. Okay. Guys, currently I'm not answering to any of your questions. Oh, let me explain first, then I'll come back. Okay. So now I'm here. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll first start your React application. Terminal, new terminal. Okay. Click here. So now what is a command to start a React application? Very simple. And here, start. Okay, that's simple. I'll click on enter. And your React application will get started. That part also takes a little time. Okay. So it opened up my second screen. This part I never understand. I don't know. If I'm working on the first screen, it will always open on the second screen. If I'm working on the second screen, it will always open on the first screen. I just don't know why. Okay. You, you should use git bash as your terminal if you're in Windows. Okay, this of course takes a little time. Uh, why npm? Because I've not told you what is the difference between npm and npx. I'll tell you. Let me first give you some basics so you can understand it. Okay. JavaScript is necessary for this. Uh, if you know some other language, you may still understand it. You may not get it some point, but always you can learn things on the go. I want to know that for posting any project on GitHub through VS Code, how to do the procedure. I've already done it. Cover, uh, check out my previous videos. You'll get it going. Okay. I think I did it in the second video, maybe. Second video was on Git, on this channel. Yeah. If you get some error, what you should do, just catch that error and search it on internet. Mostly Stack Overflow use. There will be a lot of solutions. Try those solutions and you'll figure it out. It's taking a while. The reason is like screen share and all that. Did I get some error? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's still loading. No, of course, uh, whatever I'm teaching, these are the basic concepts that you should need. None of them will make you pro as of now, right? Like if I just teach you uh, like uh, React, it will be like for uh, like, what do you say? Mm, 30 to 40 hours will just be teaching then there will be number of projects so technically pro needs much more effort and time okay so now this is here finally okay so finally this application is running this is the by default application which is there okay as simple as that so i'll just clear the screen of course you know how to clear it Okay, command key or control L depending on your operating system. Okay, so now this is a default uh, application that React gives and uh, makes it and give it to you. Okay, guys, I'm not answering any question which is a little different from deviated like MVC pattern. I don't want to discuss those questions. If you're asking those questions, I'm not answering any of those. The reason is I don't want to confuse others. We are just getting started. And if you really know the answer, if you really want to have a uh, really there is an urgent way to get to our question, please Google search it. Okay. Okay, guys. So we are here. So now what to do? So I'm just, just telling you a very easy way to write hello world on the screen, but that does not make any sense in your knowledge, but still it has written us edit source app.js. Okay, that has basically given you. I did this part okay to edit, edit this line so source app.js no so source app.js okay this that line is basically if you see it, i'll just make it little down so 
So where it it is easier, right? So of course you can remove this and write hello world. But how many of you understood this? Why would we do it? Why did we write it? No, no worries, right? Hello world. So when you wrote hello world, of course. It's reloading. Okay. It takes a it's it's slow for some reason. Okay. I think. So I don't know. I think I'm using multiple screens. That may be the reason. Okay. So finally you got hello world. But you literally did not get anything. Why did this happen? Why it did not happen? Each and everything. Okay. Awesome. Okay, guys. So so now let's start discussing our way so that we can understand each and every file that is written here. Is React website slow? No, no, React website is not slow. I am sharing my screen, no? Okay, and I am also doing YouTube like Zoom is also running and there are a number of more things that is running. That is why it is a little slow. And I don't know from today, I think I have installed some faulty extension in VS Code, maybe may that may be the reason due to which from today morning, only my VS Code is working a little slow. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Okay. Okay. It's not the React problem, it's the VS Code issue, especially in my PC, maybe for some particular reason. Okay. Okay, guys. Hmm. Right, so let's continue. So now see, of course you have a lot of files and folders here, okay. but if you quickly have a look, okay. so one is readme.md, this has nothing, this is like basically, basically for GitHub, when you upload this project to GitHub, this information will be available for anyone who want to see what is in your repo. So like, this is like a intro for your project, you can basically see, okay. What is this package.json? This package.json is like the setting project of your file. Okay. So basically it has a name, version, private is to dependencies. Okay. So what is this word dependencies? So dependencies basically means, okay, my project is dependent on those piece of code, which I have not written. That may be written by someone else. I'm just using it. For example, whatever things that are written in dependencies, okay. So they are not the piece, they, they, these pieces of code has not been written by you, but you are still using this piece of code somehow so that you can complete your React application. So like see, React is not written by you, but you are using React in this project, right? So React is a dependency, which Facebook has written it. You are just using those features. So this is called dependency. Similarly, by default, React application come with these dependencies. So of course you can make it. Right? Okay, there are some more things, uh, scripts, which helps you to start your React application, build your React application, test your React application, eject your React application. In general, there are some more things, but as of now, you just need to have a basic idea of the files. This is called dependencies. And uh, what do you say, this, this file is basically uh, the settings file of your project. What is package log.json? It's basically, as of now, you can understand this file as like, it keeps a check on versions of different dependencies that you have installed it. Okay. Git ignore, I guess we have already discussed it. Okay. Now this is a source file in which there are a number of files. You don't need to worry about them because source file is a file where we'll be writing 90% of 98% of the code you can say. Think. Okay. So what are these things? We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. This public. Okay. So this public thing is like, what do you say? If you basically see it, okay. So there are a number of things like tabicon, index.html, logo and all that. So basically you can see this is index.html. This is HTML file with uh, two weird things, or the title, everything is there, okay. Now there is a div which is empty, whichever ID root. Basically, you know, JavaScript directly cannot print something on the screen. It has to depend on HTML, right, okay. So this is technically a JavaScript code. So JavaScript finally need to be rendered to HTML. We studied the searching approach in Java, like how to search or select a particular element, like document or get element by ID, right? Through those approaches. So whatever code that we have written in React, that is basically JavaScript. 
it will be finally rendered between these two div so that it can be presented on the screen. Okay. Uh, what happens if you accidentally delete package.json? Okay, I got a meme. Khatam. Okay. Never try it. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I will come to that, those things. Don't worry. Of course, there are a lot of other things I've not discussed because as a point, you first need to start you know, going into React. And then slowly, if, when we need a certain file, you'll automatically understand it. Okay. And node, what is this node modules? This node model, like I told you, in package.json, you have these number of dependencies, right? So these dependencies are like the code written by someone else. So basically, if you have mentioned something as a dependency, that means that code you have basically downloaded in your project, okay? Generally. So where is that project code downloaded? That code is downloaded inside your node modules folder, okay? Awesome. So now is. So now this is the place where we'll be writing 98% of the code source. So of course we need to know about each and file, each and every file in very much detail. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll delay these files and we'll create them as we need them. So that basically you will have an idea. Okay. So I've deleted everything which is present inside the source, right? Awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so now let's start creating uh, things one by one. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what is the roadmap to become a full stack developer? I've already discussed those in the previous videos. You can have a look. Okay, so now you guys can see we got an error because we deleted a lot of things. Okay, so basically if you see, okay, so this error is basically there, right? Of course, it's it's telling you the error, but so now we have to, because we deleted a lot of files. So let's do one thing. Let's start creating some other files. Okay. So what will I do? Step number one, the first file that I'll be create is index.js. So I've created a file which is index judges. Now, no, of course, this is not that. Okay. okay, let me reload it. Of course, just, just like creating an empty file, you'll not get a complete project. So you got that error is basically gone, right? So basically, index.js is like the main file of your React application. Okay. Okay. So step number one. So to get started with it, let's try to understand how to get started with it. Okay. So of course it's a React application. So what I'll do, I'll import React. Import React from, from React. So now what is this syntax? Like if we try to understand it, see. So let me write one more thing, then I'll explain. Import React DOM from React DOM. So why did I import these two things and what are these two things? So in simple words, you, if you open your package.json, you will see I have already installed React and React DOM, okay? So in the second place, what, whatever I write, React and React DOM, okay? This should be exactly written as it is written in your package.json, okay? What are these? React, like the word written React DOM, so basically you can think it like an alias. What is an alias? Basically like whatever name you want to give it, you can give it here, not a problem, X, Y, Z. Totally okay, okay. So I've imported X, Y, Z from React DOM. This, that basically means whenever you have to use React DOM, uh, you can directly use the word X, Y, Z. So it's always good to use the word React DOM only. No? It makes more sense. Of course, it has some more use cases, which we'll understand, okay. And now why did I import it? Because yes, see, of course, in almost all the file, you have to import React. And why you have imported React DOM, you'll get, get it like an idea. Yes, I'm all right. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll create something. So just let me know what is this. I'm creating a function. Let's call this function name as hello. Okay. 
I have written H with small letters. Okay. Okay. And what what I am trying to do? So I'll be trying to uh, print hello world in simple words. So here I am returning a H1 tag. Hello world. Okay. So what is this? Do you think it's a function or something else? What are your suggestion grades? So until we, you guys study what is function-based component, what is direct uh, component, just telling something does not make a sense. No? So let's keep those questions for later. If I have not taught something, that means I'll coming, I'll come back to that particular topic. Okay. Now few suggestion, it's a function. And some suggestion, it's HTML. Yes, there is a piece of HTML code. Seems like function. Okay. Awesome. What if I disappoint you? Guys, this is not a function. Will you be sad? Yes, it's not a function. As of now, you can see a function. But I'll change it to capital letters. Hello. And I'll say, this is not a function. In simple words. Okay. What is this? This is a component. What is the use of component? Component, of course, there is a number of use, but the main use is component helps you to make UI. Like on a screen, H1, uh, hello world will be printed. So it is contributing to my website UI, right? Now the second part, this looks like JavaScript, uh, this looks like HTML, right? What if I say this is not HTML? Is that it surprising? I'll say yes, very surprising. Like, even like what happened? Did I study HTML wrong? I'll be like, no. This is basically called JSX and not JSK, JSX. Okay. So, what is different between HTML and JSX? There are some pieces of difference here and there. Uh, Matlab, you'll be using it like HTML with some differences, which is JSX. The HTML plus some differences with JSX. Okay. You'll understand also those differences, why their differences need to be brought to be used in React as we code more. Okay. okay. So let's suppose this is our React application. That's it. We don't have anything more in our React application. Okay. But you know, this is a piece of a JavaScript code, and your JavaScript code cannot print anything on the screen or cannot display anything on the screen. Okay. For that purpose, we have already created an index.html file, which is already there. And it has an empty div, right? Now, since it has an empty div, so what to do? Okay. So basically, whatever thing that I have written it here, now, I'll render it there inside the HTML. Okay, so currently, if you see on the screen, of course, you have a blank looking screen, no output, all that, right? So how to do that? Very simple. I want to render something. So this rendering, uh, like transfer, like what is it? If you want to render something, this uh, the React DOM will basically help you that. So you got the idea of React DOM. Why did I import a React DOM here? Okay. So, so this word you'll write it. Whatever you have written here, the way you have written it. React DOM dot render. Okay. Now here there is two ways to write. It. Step number one. You'll be writing this name, hello. Hello, comma. Okay, now where do you transfer, want to transfer this hello? You will say, I want to transfer this hello inside this uh, index.html, inside this uh, root, right? ID root. So how to search that element? You already know, document. It has an ID, no? get element by ID. And what is the ID? Root. Okay. So you guys will be okay. We have done it. So hello world should be on the screen. And but it's not here. Why is that? So of course, whenever you fall something where something is not working, you can go to inspect 
and you can go to console. Whenever you are working with something with uh, JavaScript or JavaScript related something, always your console should be open. It's highly recommended. Okay. You will see functions are not a valid as React child. This happens when you return a component instead of a component like this. Okay. What does that mean? Um, will we be using Redux in our React app? No. Hmm. So guys, let's have a look. So this is H1, no? So now this is not a function. Basically, if it is a function, then you call it like this or use it like this, right? But this is not at all a function. So how will you use? You will, when it, whenever it's a component, you will use it with like a tag, like a HTML tag, okay? So hello, either like this, okay? Either this way, step number one, or you can use it like a self-closing HTML tag. How the basically self-closing HTML tag works? Yes. Like this, right? One of the two ways. Okay. So now you'll be basically be able to see. Hello world is on the screen. It will be there. It's reloading. Hello world is there on the screen, and we don't have any more. Perfect. Awesome. Hope this is clear. Any doubts till this point? Let's discuss it. Attendance ka koi form bana hai. You'll get informed about attendance and all that in the group. You guys, let me know if you have some errors. That's some doubts or something. So according to my uh, smart watch today I have walked 1998 steps just two left to reach 2000 so sad you have no, no doubts okay awesome so shall we continue guys okay till that time we're checking my LinkedIn anyway okay awesome Oh, so can you explain the exact reason why do we need render? Yes. So basically, whenever you are adding some JavaScript code, okay. So basically, HTML is the fundamental part of your on the screen, right? Which is responsible for displaying anything on the screen, okay? In simple uh, in simple words, right? If you write any JavaScript code, okay, it need to be rendered to HTML. Then on on a particular HTML element, then in that HTML element, it can be displayed in simple words. Okay, and there are some more reasons, but this is the one of the simple reasons. I hope it's okay. okay. So now let's continue. So now guys, function hello. You can write functionally, it looks more like a function and you can write like this, okay? But uh, with the help of ES6, there's a different way to write a function. And what is that way? I'll explain you guys, even if you don't know, even if you are from a different uh, language background, you will understand it. Just see, how do we convert it? So both are basically same with a very small difference. Let's not talk about a difference, but you can just think like function has two syntax in JavaScript. This is a normal syntax. There's a second syntax, which is like, remove this word, okay? After hello, put a equals to, okay? And after this bracket, no, put a arrow sign. Okay, this is called arrow function. So you normally convert a normal function to arrow function. Okay, and whenever the function is, of course, you declare your variable like let const. Okay, so then let's make it const. Is this syntax clear? Because we'll I'll be using this syntax from now for uh, like what is it components. Okay. So let me know if you're okay with this syntax. So there is nothing. Just remove the word function. Okay, put a equal to there and put a, put a arrow sign there. So it's an arrow function in simple words. There is some pieces of difference. Let's not get into that. Okay. For you, for in relation to like React, you will not feel any differences. 
Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, let's continue. Okay. So now I'm like, okay, so let's create some more things. So Okay. What are exactly components in JS to use self? I did not get your question, Sweta. Correctly. Okay. So now let's suppose I create something. Let's suppose H1 is already there. Let's suppose let's create a button. Okay. No, not this. Let's create a button. B U T T U. Let's keep the button name as Apple. Okay. We can have multiple things. BS code code is not visible. Okay, I guess this is too much zoom. It will be difficult for me to write it. I guess this will be okay. No, no, here you're talking about this, I guess, right? So I am treating it like this because it's not a function. It's a component. Component is a thing of React, okay? Not of JavaScript, okay? So basically, I this is a component which is treated like this, okay? So component, uh, basically is like your function or it can be like a class also which basically contributes to a uh, like what do you say ui uh, like some ui of your web page in general okay uh, what is the difference between npm yarn yarn is a bit faster than npm h1 is hello world this is a button no Okay, so let me come to this first error. So you can see some error on the screen. The error is basically because I'm trying to return multiple elements. Okay, but you know, like return, always return one statement at a time, right? So of course, what you can do, if you want to return multiple things, enclose this within a div. Simple words. So you got an error. So remember it. Whenever you're returning multiple things, you can always put it inside a div. Perfect. Okay, so now the things are quite sorted out. Of course, this red line error will vanish in a while. Okay, perfect. So now what I'll do with instead of one button, I'll be creating several buttons. Okay. Awesome. So we have these buttons, apple, mango, and banana. Okay. Okay. Main function, I did not get you, OVJ. You definitely you have those things are called props. We'll come to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now uh, this is a thing that we have basically done, it, right? Awesome. So you have these things there. Hello world, apple, mango, banana. So what I'll do now? I'll add some CSS to these things. Okay. So. So now let's have a look. So now let's have a look at this. So let me, okay. So in the, in the source folder, what I'll do, I'll create a new file. Let's call this 
style.css. Okay. What style do you want to give? So what I'll say uh, is um, this button is there. No? So I'll create a let's suppose a class called button dot button. Okay. Let's give it a padding of let's suppose 10 pixels. And let's give it a margin right of let's suppose five pixels. But you can see the CSS is basically not uh, implemented here, right? What is the problem? The problem is basically this. The problem is because you have padding and you have margin right, okay? And this is inside a class button. So you basically need to use it here right? in this place. But to use a CSS in a particular file, first you need to import that, right? So let's first import it. So if you want to import something as a whole, directly import it. like. A complete file you want to import it, right? Right? Okay, so now we are here. So now what I'll do to these buttons, I'll apply class. So in normal, what I do, I just write a class, right? But here, because class is already a keyword in Java, uh, like JavaScript, so Instead of this, there has been small changes in JSX. You basically use class name. Class name, that it was button. Up. This is what you basically used. This is a small change between your HTML and JSX. One change, there are some more changes. Right? Hmm. Okay. So now guys, let's have a look. So this is here, we have done the button things. Now let's suppose there's a second CSS I want to add, okay? But as a like inline CSS, so that I'll give you assignment to you guys, okay? How to add an inline CSS, okay? You guys give it a try. And then again, we will meet probably tomorrow and continue with this. So we are basically exploring index.js as of now. We need to explore, more means some other files and folders as we create them. Okay. Some questions, Guna and Bharat about MVC pattern. You guys are so excited. We have not covered it. So basically I don't want to talk about it currently. Okay, okay. any other questions? Yes, you can use Bootstrap instead of CSS. No, no carpet. The assignment is simple. You have to, you need to try to implement inline CSS here as of now. Okay. The question for the assignment is simple. Not like this is not an assignment. Assignment basically I'll give you at the end of the third day, middle of last day. But for now, I just want you guys to give it a try. That uh, uh, like this H1, I want you guys to apply the CSS, but I want you guys to use inline CSS and make it in center. Basically, text align center, you have to use it inline CSS. Okay. So last one, you'll get a form, but currently in between, what a small assignment that I give you, we'll basically discuss that in the next class. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Hmm. So, hey, I'll see you later. Bye -bye.